Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. One of my favorite game developers of all time is Suda51 and recently he's been extremely busy with a lot of interviews due to the recent release of No More Heroes 3. Two of these interviews that really stand out is one where he talks about No More Heroes 3 returning to the open world format and the other is where he talks about wanting to make a brand new Deadpool game with Marvel. Yes, you heard that correctly. Suda51 wants to make a brand new Deadpool game with Marvel and I find that to be pretty exciting. Now with all that being said, let's first take a look at what Suda51 had to say to VideoGameChronicles.com about what Grasshopper Manufacturer has planned for the next couple of years plus what he says about this brand new Deadpool game. And here it is. The broad answer is we already have a lot of products that are in development, Suda replied via translator, and over the next 10 years we have 3 original IPs that we're working on and we have already planned out. So you can definitely look forward to a lot of new interesting original IPs from Grasshopper. We also of course have other plans and are working hard on them to bring them to fruition. But in terms of the kind of things I'd love to do, I'd also love to work with Marvel on a Shadowstar or Deadpool game, something sort of Grasshoppery like that. Maybe a quick silver title of some sort, so Marvel, you know. And there you have it, straight from Suda51 himself. He confirmed that Grasshopper Manufacturer has a lot of original titles that are in the works and that will be released in the next couple of years. And on top of that, on the things that he would love to do, he would love to make some type of Marvel game, in particular a Shadow Star or a Quicksilver or a Deadpool game. Now, I don't know about you, but a Deadpool game made by Suda51 just sounds right. I really can't see any other game developer that can personally make this game, but hey man, one can dream. Now of course, none of these Marvel games are confirmed or anything like this, but it would be great to see Suda51 working on something like this. Now let's move on to the final topic of this video which involves Suda51 discussing with Game Reactor on why No More Heroes 3 returned to the open world format. Now as we all know, No More Heroes 2 did not have this open world format, but the first game did. And here's what Suda51 had to say to Game Reactor. It was partially a personal decision and also the opinion of the rest of the team that Santa Destroy would be nice to revisit, would be nice to go back to and add a bunch of stuff. When it all comes down to it, the biggest reason is the fans. Ever since No More Heroes 2 has come out, for years people would say, hey, we want No More Heroes 3. When are you going to make No More Heroes 3? On top of that, one of the specific opinions and requests that we've heard more than anything was, we want more Santa Destroy. We want to go back to Santa Destroy, so I want to revisit Santa Destroy. Actually, developing the game, we really felt we needed more Santa Destroy. It just kind of worked out perfectly. We're going back to Santa Destroy and we're going to add a bunch of stuff to it. While it was partly a creative and personal decision, the biggest thing was the fans. That's what they want, that's what we wanted. Hopefully, everyone's going to be happy. You've got a bunch of Santa Destroy. So there you all have it. The main reason that Suda51 and his whole development team went back to the whole open world format for No More Heroes 3 is us, the fans. And what else could you ask from a game developer? We asked and they delivered in a major way because No More Heroes 3 is way more than what I expected it to be. The open world is more fast than it has ever been, the action is way more over the top, the graphics are highly improved from the last two games, and man, the story is really really good. I'm not going to spoil anything here, but No More Heroes 3 is way more than I expected and I really love this game. I haven't finished playing this game because I've been working and doing a lot of things in between, but from what i played so far, this game is phenomenal, the best No More Heroes game that I've ever played and I will highly recommend it highly highly recommend it to anyone who owns a Nintendo Switch. Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month and perks are included. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.